Let's go. We got a video. This video is about NASA's JPL snake robot. We're going to check this robot out. See what they're going to use it for. You know with NASA, it's going to be crazy. So let's go. Let's lock in. Yo, with NASA, we know they're going to utilize this robot to do some insane thing. We already seen it on the grass. We seen it on the ice right now. So what do you guys think they're going to use it for? I did a little research and I already know. Hopefully they tell us. If not, I'll, I'll let y'all know. So they letting us know a little bit. So to go a little deeper, they're gonna use it, utilize it for challenging terrain on Earth and off Earth. They're gonna be able to go underwater and different ice caps on different planets because the way they are building this snake robot is probably damn near indestructible. It's going to be able to do anything. You're going to be able to test it. Really test it. It's going to have so many cameras in it. It's just, it's just a great robot. A great robot that literally can go anywhere. It can go above ground or underground, which is impressive. You know, one thing we can say about humans, they're going to find out what's going on somewhere. Like, they got, NASA got a Mars yard, which they call it, to be able to test this snake robot out so they can eventually take this snake robot to Mars to be able to find out about pretty much their environment. And then you can also take them on a skating rink so it can be able to test this snake robot out so eventually they can go in glaciers and figure things out from there so you know when NASA is a part of something it's going to be big so and it looks cool too I love I love animal robots I, I love it Yo, NASA definitely know what they're doing. They definitely know what they're doing. I mean, I would love to just go inside or be invited to one of the, these NASA sites where they just training all different ty types of robots because I know it's 
way much more than just a snake robot. Can you imagine just going there and seeing what they're doing? Now you already know it's gonna be classified. We already know it's gonna be classified. But yo, if they're doing this, imagine what they're doing that they're not showing. This is crazy. I love the way it looked. I like how it can be able to dig itself in different glaciers or dig itself in the ground. Like, it got to be able to dig in some hard, 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 hard ground. Because if they're thinking about bringing this to Mars or another planet or just taking this to Antarctica or, or somewhere else to be able to bury itself so we can do some research. This snake robot has to be strong. Everything about it got to be strong. It got to be tough. It got to, like I said before, indestructible. Can't be able to be able to break, put it to some severe, severe tests. You just got to. Like, you just got to. I mean, NASA is is what it is. I remember when I was growing up and I told, you know, my parents that I wanted to, you know, be a NASA astronaut. I mean, I ain't, I didn't, I wasn't able to do that. I mean, I own a healthcare company now, so I, I'm still doing stuff that's successful, but I always wanted to do or be a NASA astronaut because I just love the, you know, their technology and their advancement and you know things like that and that's why i do these videos as well because i just love robots i love robotics and i love technology and i can see in the next few years that everything is gonna change i mean i don't know if it's gonna be changing for the good or for the bad but since i like technology i'm gonna say you know, for the most part, I believe that things are going to be changing for the good. And this snake robot is something that I expect NASA to be able to use. Um, they've been developing this for, for a while now. So they should even be starting to utilize it or going to be utilizing it pretty soon. But, yo, this is, this is the stuff that I love. I love to see because now we can be able to test wherever we need to go because we have the robots to be able to do it and we don't have to hurt you know humans by sending them to different places all right guys until next time